So as you can see, I've been following this Byron Allen lawsuit against Charter Communications and Comcast for several years now. You see this video I posted back in October 28, 2016. Um, for those of you who don't know, Byron Allen is suing cable giants Comcast and Charter Communications for $10 billion each. That's a total of $20 billion, citing, okay, racial discrimination, uh, specifically talking about uh, racial discrimination in contracting against wholly minority-owned companies. Quote, we have evidence of racial bias harbored by top-level executives, executives with decision-making authority and allege in detail the discrimination treatment um, ESN suffered at the hands of these executives. All right. ESN is the company that Byron Allen, or the media company that Byron Allen owns, solely owned by him, and he also purchased uh, the Weather Channel, by the way. Byron Allen bought the Weather Channel about a couple years ago, so he solely owns that. People don't know about that at all, but this is extremely important, you know. Uh, it also states that in this article that I referenced back in my original video that um, Byron Allen you know, indicates that the cable industry makes $70 billion on just advertising alone. And 100% African-American owned media conglomerates and networks do not get a dime from that. So when it comes to economic inclusion, when it comes to economic redistribution to um, African-American owned networks, we get not a dime, not a dime. So you got to understand, again, the cable industry, now that technology has changed and things are going completely streaming now, everything, everything is about streaming, right? The point is, is that these media conglomerates, these, um, these big giant companies are solely owned by non black people which means they control the narrative they control the agenda of what is shown on television and social media they control it we have no say all we can do is play and participate and hope that if we play and participate you know we're not censored because that's what they'll do to us obviously they'll censor us and and you know, shut down our channel, shut down our, our material. That's what they do. And Byron Allen is actually going against the grain and saying, yeah, we, we got it. We got evidence. I'm invoking the 1866 Civil Rights Act against Charter Communications and Comcast. And I'm going to sue you guys for $10 billion each, $10 billion each, and the Supreme Court will now hear this case. So, of course, with lawsuits, it takes some years and years and years for things to get in motion, you know. So, um, it's a great thing that it, it, this case is going to be seen um, and heard by the Supreme Court, you know. And the, the thing about it is, is that of course, with these companies, right? And it, and it states in this article, based off the evidence that Byron Allen, Byron Allen found, citing racial, discrimin racial discrimination against black-owned media companies and networks, Comcast and Charter Communications, of course, they're gonna do the code. They're gonna follow their code, which is deny, deflect, and be dismissive. Deny that you're a racist, deny that you're a white supremacist, um, and cite other things that <laughs> pretty much uh, contradict what you're being sued for, right? Um, Comcast indicates that, you know, the lawsuit is a scam. Um, the lawsuit is a waste of time. Um, they're, they're, of course, they're denying their their racial or racial discrimination practices. They're denying that, of course, and that's of course what they do when it comes to following a code, right? 
and uh, it's, it's just typical talking points to deflect the conversation, to deny the conversation, to be dismissive about the conversation about the elephant in the moon, the elephant in the room, which is the inclusion of economic distribution within black owned companies, within black owned media conglomerates, right? Because once we control, once we own and control the resources, we control the narrative. We control the imagery, right? And that's what they don't want, right? And, and Byron Allen is, is, is actually doing that by owning his own companies, media companies that nobody really talks about. And another thing is that if you, if you guys know Byron Allen, you know, he's a, he has a background in, in comedy, but also He's married to a white woman, and I've said this before that you know people like Byron Allen or people like LeVar Ball who are married to white women, it doesn't change that they own their own black business. They're black, right? So you can't discredit them because they're married to white women that their business that they own doesn't mean a goddamn thing. What they do is what they're doing is historical. You know, owning uh, Byron Allen owning multiple 100% owned media companies right and of course LeVar Ball owning his independent uh, big baller brand I think that is historical and it's powerful it needs to be noted so I don't take anything away from them because they're married to white women at all you know that's my thing so uh, like I said this case will be heard by the Supreme Court course this article is about a couple months old but i actually did want to follow up and do a video on this um and i also have some requests to do this video but this is very important that we got to keep an eye on this you know this is reparations in the in the entertainment industry if you will right this is reparations and this is something that we definitely need to support um in, in regards to what byron allen is doing so i, I definitely support this and hopefully this case gets gets through and he gets his twenty billion dollar civil rights lawsuit reparations for racial discrimination against African American owned networks um within the entertainment industry. So that's my quick take on that family. Leave your comments down below about Byron Allen. Let me know what you guys think about the lawsuit. All right, make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV family. Until next time, Chauncey signing out. Peace.